Okay, I'm going to install uh, Hyper 212 X Evo into my case. I had a stock cooler before this for my processor AMD FX uh, 8150. Finally, decide to take the plunge and put in a slightly better cooler to maybe overclock a little bit more. Currently, I'm overclocked at. Uh, 3.6 to 3.9 megahertz sorry gigahertz see if i can get it better than that okay we're gonna open it up see what's inside okay heavy I would say there's a big fan just one fan and then there's a radiator maybe I could use one of my older fans this is the usual desiccator okay so now Yes, I'm supposed to install the back plate first and then the um, cooler. So this part, the copper sink, would actually come in contact with the processor. It will sit on top of the processor like this and uh, it would uh, conduct the heat to this huge radiator. It's not actually a very big radiator. And then the radiator, uh, the heat would be pushed out by the fan. Uh, it actually, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to okay, draw the heat out from the radiator and push it out of the case. Assuming I have other fans in the case which can draw out the heat, which I do. Okay. okay so these are all the things which come along in the box there's the user, user manual and the back plate uh, warranty information card okay. zooming this uh, this goes along with the back plate figure out how to exactly it fits in a few other uh, additional things okay so this is important there's the um, the thermal thermal fluid thermal paste rather it's not exactly a fluid and then a lot of screws so successfully install the back plate this mold uh, screwing in four joints and from the other side it looks like this so now there are four screws on which I can actually put on the adapter and then the cooler okay, so it's a little difficult for me to use the stand so I'm gonna try and uh, I'm going to do this by holding the camera in hand. Right. So this is my processor. So I can't focus all the time. Okay, I've gotten the cooler onto the mount. This is how it looks. So there's this adapter with the four prongs that fits on top of uh, the base screws which we mounted earlier and then the uh, the radiator itself which sits on top of the adapter now I need to fit a fan on top of uh, this radiator and then attach it to the CPU cooler socket that's about it I think